how's everybody? If I put the film together, you should have seen the picker screen for the palette, the C color glamour, which is right there. Now, this one was patterned after modern renaissance. Yes, indeed, if it looks familiar to you. And then there was the pics. I forgot to turn the camera back on for two of them. But you got to see the 14, the 12, and the 8. And the first two were 9 and 11. This is going to be all just in one place over here. So, one, two. mildly dull looking at the way the colors came out. Lots of browns and beigey things and one metallic gold and then that one maroon color. So we will see how this comes out. How the heck you been? Anybody doing anything interesting? This is the last look that I will be doing at the age of 62. Tomorrow is 63. Isn't that precious? It happens. Every so often, the birthday comes around, you know? It's that once a year thing that seems to, nobody seems to be able to get rid of. So, yeah, this one's one of them middle in years. There's nothing big about it. You know, the decade years are fun. The half decade years are fun. This one's just kind of meh. Other than when you're talking about having gone through lockdowns and vaccines and all that other stuff, I'm glad to be here. Whee! This is my Elf Putty Primer. Putty, 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 putty. I like my Elf Putty Primer. It's nice. It's good stuff. Now, the C color stuff. I like C color, it's not terribly expensive. They do, they have a number of palettes that are patterned after other rather expensive palettes that I wouldn't otherwise have, I'd have to do, you know, go through and find stuff that sort of looks right to do the do. To get the same kind of looks and all that stuff. So don't jump up and down that I'm using something that's patterned after something else. 
we will have this discussion repeatedly. I can't afford it. I can't afford the expensive versions. So, yeah. I would never have had the color story. And some of you may go, but, but, but. And I'm going to look at you and go, any of you ever buy knockoffs on perfume? How about that dossier stuff that's currently come out? Anybody working with that? They talk about, in the commercials, they talk about which perfume they're actually knocking off. So, if you're using it, I don't want to hear about it. What do you think of that? Because if you're using that stuff, Then, you know, if you're using something that's definitely a discussed about knock, knockoff, and they're claiming that it's, you know, if you like dot to dot, you're going to love this, and it's da 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 da. Don't come at me about the eyeshadow. Because I look at that the same thing. A dupe is a dupe. So if you're duping somebody else's stuff and happily running off to use it, not my fault. And yeah, I would go pick up perfume same way. Because I'm not going to go out and spend bazooka dollars on top on perfume either. But if you're going to jump up and down about somebody doing knockoffs on makeup, then you need to not be using knockoff perfumes here. But yet the knockoff perfumes have legit regular ads on YouTube. Isn't that interesting? Now, the people who do these knockoffs, they don't bother me at all. You see, because the big fancy names, unless I got managed to pick something up at one of the places like Marshall's or TJ Maxx. Well, I was on jump sale. Um, my purchase is really not being taken away from the name. It's not. It's not because I wouldn't be purchasing it anyway. I would not be buying it from the big name, regardless of whether or not I was able to find a knockoff. Just no, would not be happening. it would not be happening because I'm not going to pay that much. So there's another argument on that now because unless I found the big name stuff on like Poshmark 
or a Mercari or a TJ Maxx or something like that, I wouldn't be buying it. I'd be looking at it going, oh, ain't that party. And moving along. Looking for something I could afford. It's the way it is. It really is. I am just not going to go the expensive route regardless. I just don't go there. Yes, I know, I'm doing it again. I'm doing the under eye here just a little bit. Because I'm trying, part of it is I'm trying to see what I want to do. So far, I kind of like that. Yeah, even though I haven't done all the rest of the stuff, I haven't done the face. But I like that color of the under. Who me? Yeah, I'm using the same brush for just about everything. So tomorrow, my honey bunny will be making me breakfast and dinner. I have been wanting surf and turf. So we looked really, really hard. And we found a really good sale on some really small states. They're like miniature New York strips. And it was a pack of two for eight bucks. And then I went looking at the seafood counter at the local. And we found they had they made had made this big deal out of having a sale on lobster. So we get there and I'm looking and I'm looking. And some of the bigger lobsters are a bit annoying for their price. And the Dungeness crabs. Lord have mercy. One Dungeness crab, 36 bucks. Yeah. And then they had them itty bitty little lobsters, little, little, but it was a whole lobster. So we got a $9 whole lobster and it's just barely big enough. Since it's a whole lobster, it's got both its claws. It's just barely big enough that if we split it in half, we each get some of the tail meat and a claw. It's kind of puny, but it should work. Now, the rest of the house will be eating whatever it is they fit in, but there will be bacon roasted brussels sprouts and baked potato with my little lobster 
and then homemade southern style banana pudding for dessert. Properly baked banana pudding. No, baked. You have to bake it so you can toast the meringue on top. What? <laughs> of course you gotta bake it so you can toast the meringue on top. It's a must-do kind of thing. It's a must-be did. And doing it properly means that you're making a proper custard to go over the banana and the wafers. So you know where the rest of the eggs go, right? It's going in the custard. And then the egg whites go on top, rang, doing the ring, 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 ring. And then you bake it until the meringue is all pretty. Gotta bake it so that the meringue gets all pretty. Must get the meringue all pretty. Now see, I love banana but this, you know, take the either graham cracker crust or vanilla wafer crust or just some plain vanilla wafers and throw some 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 jello instant on it. That is not banana pudding. How's that look so far? That's all the colors. All of them. Let's see. This bit. Get my AOA Studio not sponsored mirror up. Now see, I'm going to try really, really hard to keep this eyebrow down instead of doing the, that I usually end up doing. See, there it goes. As soon as I start talking about it, it starts climbing. <laughs> because you're supposed to try to keep it flat. so that it can do its natural fall. Yeah. And such. Got the eyebrows on. Do my little bit of con squealer. A 
up under here. Yes, I'm messy when I do this. Now I've got a bunch of other stuff out that I have been using most of the month. The only thing I've been changing up is my my palette. Yeah, I'm doing the got kind of a shop my stash kind of thing going on. The main thing that I do though is especially if I'm going to get crazed and use the picker even when I'm not doing a film is I've got several different versions of lipstick out so that I've got a chance to have something that'll go with just about anything that I can possibly come up with from the picker. Okay, this is the camo concealer under here. Yes, it's e.l.f. Yes, I am an e.l.f. fanatic. No, I am not e.l.f. sponsored. I got just a little over 200 people on this channel. Nobody wants to sponsor me. I don't got enough of you goobers to keep their attention. Good night. Doing this for three years and still haven't cracked the 300 mark. And you know what? I'll just keep going. Whether I collect more people or not, I don't much care. I'm having fun. Kind of kind of fun to do this stuff because see I used to like to do performance stuff at these conventions and such and then my anxiety levels started getting weird and then I haven't been able to afford to go to conventions you know sci-fi conventions and that kind of stuff and then we had all the lockdowns and they're trying to bring the conventions back. Some of them they're managing to actually have in real time, wherever they've managed to get the COVID numbers down far enough. Yeah, I know. I'm liable to get fussed at for saying the C word. Don't care. I'm not giving advice just complaining. They've got some of the conventions back going live and all that stuff, but not all of them. And I don't have the funds that it takes to go to the conventions and do all of the costuming stuff I used to do. I just don't got it. So this is where I do all my performance work now. Plus, if somebody wants to say something rude, I won't hear it. And just because I have a low number of people, there usually weren't that much more at the conventions I used to go to, because they were all small, there usually weren't that many more people watching the costume contest. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to escape for a minute or so, finish putting the foundation on, and I'll be back. Let's see where we are. Got the eyeliner on, got the foundation on, got a little powder to set the foundation down. Let's see. Let's do this one. Elf! 
Hello, bug. What's it doing? Nothing. Nothing. Uh -uh. <laughs> Not funny. Is fun. Don't be messing with stuff. Yes, my grandson is here. Wow. Could we all please stop? One of the grand girls came in to get the grand boy. That was that was all of the squeaky noise talking. Yes, this is one of the little elf duos. And yes, I was pointing at the camera to make a point about you guys. One of the little elf duos. No, I don't put the down on the apples of my cheeks because this is no longer the apple of my cheek. It slid down. So I'm just kind of off to the side a little bit. A little here and there. A little color here and there. And then this one, some of them have a contour and a blush. Some of them have a contour and a highlight. Some of them have a blush and highlight. This is a blush and highlight. And I like this highlight. You go up this way a little bit, this way. And yes, I'm one of those crazy people who likes to be in the space. Well, I always wanted to be an astronaut. This is the closest I'm getting. I grew up wanting to be an astronaut. I really did. It's very strange. And it was very strange mostly because even to get to be a pilot at the time I was considering this. As a female, that didn't happen often, if at all. Yep, I glow. And he need to glow a little more on the other side here. Just a little. I mean, after all, must be him equally. I don't want to take that highlighter and use one of my little pointy end pencil brushes and get right over here in the corners. Right over here. Because I like this highlighter. It's got kind of a champagne color to it. And no, I'm not doing bronzer. Uh, let me remind you, I don't go out in the sun much. And I'm like, why am I even bothering? I'm already back to back, back to off summer shades in my face. I'll be right back. All right. Yes, in case you didn't know, we currently have wildfires all around the place. And if I showed you a picture of outside, you'd be going, is that fog? No, that's smoke. None of them are actually that close to us, but we're still getting the smoke. The wind is bringing it in. <clears throat> yeah, it's looking pretty good. Put my mascara on. Yes, I've been doing the brown eyeliner and the brown mascara. 
and I'm still doing it. And no, my eyeliner is still not perfect. I still have shaky hands. It's the way it is. And I little, did a little bit of tight line. I've got one of those Maybelline Master Skinny Precision Liner pencils. And I mean, they are tiny. But I can do the tight line on those upper, right under those upper lashes, real easy with that. It's really, really good for doing right up under the upper lashes. And then it does well enough on the bottom lashes. So there you go. Got a big bald patch right in here, which is really annoying. Anybody reading anything interesting lately? Oh, by the way, let me remind you that if you want to listen to me read some of my poetry and talk about book stuff and all that, I do have a separate channel for all that stuff. And it's down in the description box. Most recent video that I put up over there which is Tuesday, the week that I'm currently doing this, I've read some of my poetry. It's going to be in a short story collection that it's going to be kind of interspersed with some of the poetry that kind of goes with the short story, but only kind of. They're not perfect. They don't match completely. But I wrote the story, and I wrote the poetry. So there is that. But I will read you my poetry on the other channel. And at some point, I may read bits and pieces from the book. Like some of the intro stuff. <laughs> We'll see. Okay, there's that bit. Now, Yes, I'm knocking everything. I think I have it. This is an excuse to use one of my bite, <coughs> bite knockoff kind of. It's an elf. Berry butter, it looks like. I don't know. Oh, excuse me, berry sorbet. I thought this was one of my bites, and then I remembered all of my bites are, are in the nudes. So, 
Here you go. My last look as a 62 year old. Now don't jump the gun. My birthday that actually gets to the 63 mark is on the 12th, but it's at 11.45 p.m. Eastern Time. Yes, I'm on the West Coast now, but my birthday is still Eastern Time. 11.45 Eastern Time, p.m. The OBGYN told my I was due on the 13th. I was 15 minutes early. The OBGYN, same one, told my mom that my little sister, who has passed away, told my mom that my little sister was due on the 20th of January. She got here at 3.25 on the 21st a.m. So, yeah, that OBGYN was pretty good on pagan, <laughs> pagan times. We we were just obstinate. I got there a little early. My sister got there well, a little late. Not too bad, though. By the way, in case anybody's wondering, this is sweet tea. Not beer. Not beer. Alrighty. I think I'm finished. I think I got this. What do you think? Well, yes, I know. The eye the eyeliner is screwed up. I have shaky hands. Oh, and you should be proud of me. I used a sponge with the foundation. I don't know why. I don't know why, all of a sudden, I have discovered sponge. I'm not sure what happened there. But I'm going to have to get a new one, because this one's starting to get kind of chewed. But I get these, these in particular, that I'm in love with. It's like, heaven help me, I get them at the dollar store. I get them at Dollar Tree. Very weird. Very weird. Anyway, if you're interested in the book stuff, book channel. Go look at my book channel. Information below. If you think I should have more people watching me, invite them in and tell them to subscribe. You know how to do the subscribe. Make the little subscribe box change color from red to whatever. Click the little bell if you want want somebody to tell you that something's going on. I, they used to do them in emails and they don't anymore, which is really annoying. They do kind of put it up as a notification on your um, YouTube when you sign in to go watch. They'll have a little bell up there in the corner and you can look to see who's done a bunch of stuff. But they used to do it as emails and I'm going, why for you take away my email? Why for do this? Anyway, C color, glamour, which is in the pattern of modern renaissance. I like it. I like C, -co I like C color's formula. It's delightful. I don't have problems with it. It doesn't fall apart and it wears well. No, I'm not sponsored by them either. <clears throat> I just can't get a sponsor. Anyway, I'm not sure I'd want one. I mean, because then I'd have to do commercials for them. Do the sponsor statement, do the commercials, yada, 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 yada. Anyway, find your banners, keep your distance, wear your mask if you are back under mask restrictions or if you've never been out of mask restrictions. 
they let us off mask restrictions here in Oregon. And now we're back because Delta is tearing up my county. Okay. Delta is tearing up my county and the Mu variant is out now. If you do not know your Greek alphabet, go look it up. M U Mu. Okay. That's the variant that has now been identified. The newest one. Be nice to somebody for no good reason. I dare you. Be nice to somebody for no good reason. Do the right thing even if it's hard to do. And please remember, there is no bail money. I don't got bail money. 